Hey guys and welcome back. So now we're going to create the fans and we're going to start with the blades the first thing. And I'm going to start off with a line. So let's create a line node and we're going to um, have it face a point towards the Z axis and we're going to have 14 points in it. That's what, that's what I had before. And I'm going to put down a bend node. And with this bend, we're going to, uh, right now, let's see, 0 to 1. Yeah, that's perfect. So we can bend it. And we're going to use the uh, f vector, the x as the f vector. So it bends this way. Cool. So we're going to uh, leave that and make another copy of the bend so we can have another. Uh, curve with a different bend and I'm gonna put down a transform node and I'm gonna put down another transform here and I'm going to scale this in and I'm gonna move this up a bit now if we merge these two guys and put down a skin node we'll get that shape and we can easily use the bend to change the curvature we can use the scale to scale the shape and we can also move it to define where uh, where it is at and we can rotate this if we want to we can do whatever whatever we want with the shape of the blade and and then I'm going to rotate it so that it faces uh, um, the z-axis so I'm gonna transform it and let's move it to the centroid and let's do this something like this and then I'm gonna move it outward and I'm trying to get this edge basically to be uh, in a reasonable spot so that when we do the copy operation it's it's aligned so I think we need to rotate it something like this and let's put down a copy copy and transform and now let's make uh, let's make 11 copies and we can easily divide uh, the find the angle by dividing 360 by this number so I'm going to copy this paste relative reference and put down 360 divided by that so now no matter what the number is it will easily uh, change the number of copies and voila we have we have our blades and they're fully controllable we can easily change anything we want on them just using a very simple uh, bend node okay cool so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let's see. The next thing I want to do is I want to uh, uh, put a tube at the center. So let's do that. And I want to make it smaller and height. Cool. And I want to fix. I want to fix uh, all these edges. I want them to be aligned correctly. The blades uh, edges, and I can easily do that using a ray node. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a point bob, and I need to create a uh, a correct angle for for uh, uh, a vector to use for these points to shoot at. So I'm going to put down a point bob. And I'm going to subtract the position from the center, which is zero zero. And now, if we look at the normals, we have the correct vector that we can use. And if we take each of these points and shoot uh, ray, ray it you, along this vector, and whenever it's going to hit a uh, a geometry, is going to snap to it. So now, with this tube, I can actually yeah, let's put it that way, and let's put down a ray node. And let's make sure 
we're only doing this at the center. So I can I can do this by doing a group node here and only grouping at the point the points at the center. But there is a nice feature that we can make use of. Uh, when we did, let me hide this. Let me create a new view. Feels like this one is a little bit buggy. So when we created these guys, we can actually put down a group node and call this uh, base and this guy tip. And let's make sure it's, it's a point group. Uh, actually, this is the base and this is the tip. So now we're, we're grouping that. And then when we skin that, it's going to transfer those groups along. So now we have two groups, each for um, each containing the correct the correct points that we need. So we want to ray the tip, the base points. And we want to use the normals. And let's reverse. Uh, let's use that. So cool. So we're basically, we're using the normals. So you can see the points here. And we're shooting them. Uh, we're raying them along that vector, along that normal vector. And now we can do this. You can see they only snap if they're in the geometry, which is really nice. And we can do the same thing for the for the other. And instead of, you know, trying to find out what the center is, what the uh, what the tube is, we can just copy that for now. And let's do this. And now we want to do the tip. And for the tip, we want to reverse, I believe. Let's try. So this is not facing the correct angle. So let's actually just copy this. And let's use the same radius because we're going to be changing this anyway. So this guy, we want to change the tip and we want them to be rayed. Cool. So now we have both of them rayed. And this is the original. You can see how they're not in a circular motion. And now they are. And let's uh, reset the normals. Post compute normals and let's turn off the visualize in the bend node so we don't have that and let's put down an extrude node to give these uh, these blades a little bit of thickness and let's just extrude them a bit and output back cool and let's put down a bevel node to give them some nice bevel and ignore flat edges. Let's try to find a value that actually works. I'm not too worried about these if we didn't manage to select them. Yeah, it's not working. So what we can do, we can do the extrude beforehand but that's going to ruin it. So let's try this. Let's try one more time. Actually, I didn't do any poly bevel on them, so I'm not going to worry about that. I think I run into the same issues of not being able to select the edges, but we can easily do that if we wanted to just do the poly bevel. Actually, let's put down a fuse node. Looks like the geometry is not fused correctly. Yeah, And let's try one more time. And if this doesn't work, then we can do uh, a different method to select only the outer yeah, something like that. And let's reduce this 0.1. Cool. 
So I think that helps, but I'm, I'm not sort of happy and I didn't have that detail, so I'm, not, I'm gonna remove that for now. And uh, the next detail that we need is we're going to uh, create a tube at the center. So I'm going to take this tube itself and I'm gonna put down a null. And I'm going to scale it something like that and then we can just do any kinds of details so I can select this and do uh, not a poly bevel we can do an extrude on that and this is just basic modeling and select this and extrude it again Select this and extrude it one more time. And let's move it up. And now we can select all these edges and do a bevel. This is not exactly the original one I did, but it's very similar, so something like that. And maybe let's try bevel this as well. And we can move this guy in. Cool, uh, let's see. So let's move, combine the two together. And now we have everything we need for the interior blades. Let's compute the normals. Cool. And let's transform this and place it uh, where it should be. So let's template this guy. And I'm going to rotate it. Looks like the, the handle is not in the correct space. So 90 degree. Cool. So you can see that the the circle is not fitting perfectly. Uh, sorry, it's it's fitting perfectly. So we just have to change the radius of this. And that's why I wasn't too worried about the size of the box of the cube. Not the height, but the. this we're going to change the scale the radius and everything is working and for the height cool and now we have the blades and we can easily change the copies of course if we need to we can make them bigger we can change the shape easily and we can change this guy as well if we need to and it's all procedural. Cool, in the next video we're going to be adding more details. Let me merge this so we can take a look at the what we have now. And let's put down a facet sop. Cool, so let's take a look with uh, without uh, a wireframe. And let's make sure everything is untemplated. Cool, so you can see we have pretty much done we just need to move this and we are gonna add a little bit uh, more features we're gonna add the details for the screws here we're gonna add some details using extra geometry to uh, carve out some details and um, hopefully you guys will uh, will get some ideas on what you can do with bullions in Houdini thank you so much for watching this and see you in the next video bye bye